So, so yeah, let's, we can certainly try this one. Let's let's do this. So, so D for develop then. Um, let's have a look. Uh, and I'm going to open it up because it's a landscape. That, so it's your image. Yeah, this is one of mine. This is one ah. of my street images um, that I that I shot. So this is central Dublin, um, and and this is a, a distillery, a brewery, um, right off um, uh, I think it's Tara Street, uh, where the Irish Times building is um, in Tara, Tara Street. But I just pointed the camera through some railings and, and looked down this lovely archway. Um, and I just love the form of the archway and the light kind of pooled here with the dark behind it. And, and now we see, you know, all the lines, the converging lines, and just like you said, the detail, you know, and I mean, this, to, to me, this, this screams for a black and white conversion. Um, so, so let's start straight away and just drop it into black and white. Um, and I think, I mean, just look at that from color, okay? where you've got kind of distracting elements like this colour here and, and the bin colour and, and all the rest of it. And it just kind of like simplifies it, doesn't it? Immediately, it just simplifies it. Now, for me, with this kind of an image, the first thing I'm going to do with it for, for, in, in terms of black and white is clarity. Okay? I just love, look what clarity does to an image like, which that's grey, and look at the mid-term contrasts come out in that. I mean, you almost don't need to do anything else. Just clarity gives you this bang from that which is, you know, okay, boom, yeah, instant impact. Wow, yeah. Texture. How much clarity did you use there? Now I went up to eighty. I mean, pretty much the whole thing. Just, Thank just you. bang it all the way up. Yeah. I mean, this is stone. This is brick. This is dust and grime and grot and you know so you you can you almost can't get enough clarity um so so i i i bang it all the way up and and what i'd also do is probably go about halfway with texture because texture brings out the micro so just just watch watch what happens to the wall and to these paving slabs as i push the texture boom it's just like it's just like this this mist disappears and you've got this pin sharp detail coming out. It's incredible what a raw file has got in it. And these two sliders in, in urban stonework just are just awesome. Now, by doing those, we've blown some highlights. Just just very slightly we've we've blown some highlights. If I click on that that circle look up in the window just here okay and you can see the highlights blowing up there so let's leave them on and then let's just pull the highlights down just until they disappear out of the window so we'll just pull the highlights back so it just it just pulls those overblown bits and gives us all our detail back okay and then I might, I might just push my whites just a tad more, just like that. Okay. Now, do I want to do anything else to this? Um, let's go to the Transform tab and just check our verticals. So I'll draw a line here down that, that vertical there. I'll draw, here's a strong vertical on this side. There. Yeah, so we've got couple of degrees of tweak to do there but not a lot it's pretty much straight um, and, and then it's really just a matter of do I want to crop it at all do I want to change the detail do I want to lose this you know subject backgrounds find corners this might be a distraction in the corner so if this is a distraction in the corner and I've do I want to maybe just focus on the arch there and just lose that distraction in the corner? In which case, do I need quite as much width? I, I like the width. I like the way the arch is on the left-hand side. So it's the left-hand two-thirds, if you like, of the image. Um, but I also like a little bit of lead-in from the left. So... Uh, you know, I might I might leave a little bit of lead in, and that gives me a bit more depth before we start to, to hit there. Maybe something like that. 
that's probably a just a slightly better crop um, I don't think I want to bring out the darker areas anymore here because I, I it's just accentuating the archway and I love the archway um, can we can we do even more by taking the eye just a little bit more down there um, now what I would do there is I would just maybe pull the shadows up a little bit in the background just to see if I can pull the eye down into that arch even more but I'm, I'm not sure that it actually really 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 needs it I think it's just a form it's such a beautiful form shot list that I'm, I'm really kind of tweaking 